All right, here we go on to the second disc immediately come in here We're gonna use the little trick of unequipping and equipping your item or weapon This will allow the guard not to hear it. This takes a little bit longer. You can take out the guard if you want But um, I always try to get by stealthy if I can that's the name of this channel. It's what we do here uh, We don't like to needlessly take anyone out. This can be tricky. You need to make sure that you're pressing up and a or X depending on what console you're playing on so that you duck if you forget to press up while you're doing this Kind of like up and back to keep yourself against the wall if you don't do that you'll automatically fall to your death It can be a little tricky here We're just using this to get by there because the guards can hear the noise find out where this guard is once you do know where he is at that point make your way down come over here So we can bypass him you can pick up some c4 not lights it's really that important, but just wait for him to pass and then we can get out of this room. Now what you're going to want to do is going to look a little weird. Um, if you're trying to go for extreme and big boss, depending on how fast you've been, this could really help. Immediately exit the room from where you came and then go back. The reason you do this is because the elevator is on its way up and it'll take a good 20 seconds before the elevator will reach you. But if you exit and enter the room again, it'll automatically be there and save you some time. Now we've got a little bit of a mini boss here. Uh, this was actually really hard for me to do because I don't have a lot of health. There he is. Damn. So my strategy is to equip your body armor. You're gonna take some shots. Get behind the guy, but make sure you're pressing up towards him so that you throw them off. So it's very hard for me to explain in a short amount of time. So what you wanna do is get behind them, face them, press towards them so that you actually throw them off and then you should be able to get by it. Other than that, it's not too difficult. Make sure you have your body armor equipped. As you can see, we took a lot of damage there. You're gonna get hit. I mean, it's almost impossible not to get hit in that section. You can also use your weapons to take them out, but that takes a very, very long time. As long as you have just a slither of health, that's all you need uh, coming up. You're gonna get a full regain of health anyways. Throw a shaft here because we have a camera that can see you. Um, if you're low on ammunition, you can pick up some FAMAS there. Uh, there's other things in the room as well, but we're not gonna pick any of that up. We're just gonna head straight on. So this is kind of like leading up into the next boss fight. So we're gonna have a cinema playing here, uh, or should I say a conversation here in just a minute. Otherwise, enjoy the ambience. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja, 
Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. All right, so now that the crows have set in, you just need to wait until it finishes, and then you're going to be down in the freezing section. Down here, you can pick up some Nikita missiles. Now, if it took you a lot more Nikitas to take out Sniper Wolf, then this is where you're going to want to pick up some more, so that way you can actually take out Vulcan Raven. You can do this very, very quickly. This is probably the easiest boss fight in the game, honestly, uh, if you do exactly what you see me do here. I mean, there's really nothing to it. Enjoy the cutscene, and we'll get into the boss fight. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the East flows within your veins. Ah. Your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. All right, so immediately go over to this corner here and equip your Nikita. Make sure you're not, your body's not showing. Start firing and then aim over here and hit him once. You have about a four second kind of delay. That means he's in, um, you're invincible in that four seconds. That. All of his shots will not hit the uh, Nikita missile. The hardest thing, really, is because I've been using analog stick during this entire playthrough, but you do not want to use analog stick during this, because what happens is you have too much control over your motion using an analog. So I definitely suggest that you switch back to digital or use the uh, D-pad for this, so that way, when you're aiming your missile, it's going to be so much easier to hit him, otherwise you're going to be moving it left and right, up and down, and then if you don't hit him within that four seconds, then obviously he'll kill you instantly. So, there you go. Boss fight complete. Just as the boss said, it is my existence, which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. 
Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the Darker Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the Chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake. In the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be 